get in now it's time to begin we're gonna get started just believe in your dream and you know you can be anything you want hello sir how are we doing today hello i'm doing good glad to hear that uh, my first uh, entrepreneurial um, experience was when uh, I was still at school when uh, we had this project called the uh, Mini Entreprise and um, I was somehow lucky because we um, yeah we, we started to uh, realize a project that was basically my idea which was called Stifly um, stylish flyers or something uh, was the meaning of that and um, yeah, I was able to, to get my first marketing experience in there because the, what the company did was produce um, yeah, flyers and uh, business cards for basically just for the parents of the students that were in the class but still it was a very um, yeah, nice experience especially to, uh, in order to see how to deal with clients and to deal with uh, your co-workers because uh, yeah, during the project I was the uh, so-called CEO, but it was just yeah, a name for a role that was not really like CEO-wise. But uh, yeah, that was my first my first experience as a uh, entrepreneur. Um, a few years ago, I, uh, I launched a, a company called Alpot, which was uh, the first uh, podcast available in Luxembourg. Um, through Alport, I, uh, I had a big chance to uh, learn very, a very big variety of skills, um, which went from uh, yeah, content production like photography and video production through uh, marketing uh, over to uh, computer science, which I studied at the university in uh, Trier. And um, yeah, two years ago, I drew Alport through the experience I gathered at the university and through this project, I uh, started to learn my um, first company that was not client-based, which was a uh, web application called Pixit. And um, after that, I launched uh, another application, which is called Nightlow, which is a, a nightlife application that's uh, still available in, uh, in Luxembourg as an app, which you can download as well. Um, and uh, now the latest thing is a, a new social media marketing agency I uh, have launched together with uh, Thierry Hanschen and my associate Karim and um, Parcours is uh, yeah, a company that is uh, focusing on the uh, social media market in Luxembourg and that is trying to like bring things that are already um, yeah, very popular in, uh, in, the other, uh, in other regions, bring those established methods to Luxembourg and improve the, uh, the marketing scene here in Luxembourg, which is still very much behind in comparison to other, uh, to other countries. Um, yeah, so to come back to the initial question, how did I launch this? This was a, uh, uh, yeah, we are, at the beginning we were four associates and this is one of the most important lessons I learned during my entire startup career, that um, the less associates you have, the better, because, yeah, especially when you're young, you have so many ambitions and it's always very difficult to really find people that are as committed as you are, um, in the project and this is why during the course of the years I uh, um, yeah I worked with many different people on many different projects and to really learn which values at uh, partners count is a very uh, to, uh, for me was a very uh, important journey yeah the, the, the I think the most important advice I can give to anyone who really wants to launch a startup is that uh, an idea is worth nothing without execution and there are so many people who have very good ideas but uh, they mostly lack especially in technology they lack the uh, technology the technological background to really commit on an idea and if you need to um, like always rely on tech people to realize the project you're in a very bad uh, starting position to really launch a tech company 
because your engineers will always uh, be more, let's say, more clever than you and uh, you will not be the kind of CEO you want to be in the, stack, in the tech startup. Um, that's, uh, so an idea is worth nothing without the execution. Uh, another advice I can give um, for people that want to launch tech startup tech startups today is that um, I believe that there are, the, the, uh, the tech world is a very uh, in a very complicated state at the moment because uh, there are so many things that have already been done and uh, people don't want the new Facebook they don't want the new Spotify, the new YouTube. They want to just use the things they already have and want those things to improve but not uh, really commit into, onto something new. I think my uh, education was a very important factor um, because the university I went to, they really did a very good job in uh, coaching the students. Um, into domains that were not really uh, science related but um, socially related and to have like the, the necessary social a combination of social skills and tech skills is a very important um, asset if you want to, uh, to launch a company and um, yeah additionally I was I always said to myself I don't want to have a boss I always wanted to be independent. So yeah, it's uh, been basically a mix of, uh, of the education and the, the, the mindset you have. Um, I think the, the thing I'm most proud of is the, the fact that I was able to develop so many applications on my own um, without the help of any uh, other tech people um, or teachers or whatever. I really... Uh, I really learned all those things by myself. I learned to develop big scale applications by myself, how to manage uh, amounts of users by myself, um, and I didn't rely on any external funds. My, uh, my biggest failure, I think, is uh, the Pixit, because this uh, was a project that uh, when, we, when I started working on it, I, um, I really tried to, I committed a year of my life to realizing this project and in the end it, uh, it failed due to many different uh, aspects and I think the most important one being that at this time I was so um, unconfident that I tried to like take into account so many different opinions and really um, I really wanted to make the best product imaginable because I was so convinced of the idea uh, and it, at the end we launched a product that made no sense at all and which people didn't understand and uh, yes yeah, so that was also one of the reasons why uh, we didn't really commit onto the project and uh, after it was launched we, we had uh, the uh, we, we, we got the reddit hug of death um, which it was a good thing but uh, on the other hand it was a very bad thing because uh, it showed us that we didn't make the necessary technological uh, efforts before launching the product we didn't test the technological uh, point of view too much and the, the product failed because of it was not technologically uh, reasonable and uh, it was a project that made no sense when it was launched because of so many different opinions that uh, really took the whole project into a very uh, bad direction. Yeah, that's, that's actually very difficult to say because uh, I believe that uh, once you take decisions in your life, those, de those decisions were exactly the decisions that you had to make during this time because you felt like doing them. Um, if I had done anything different, maybe it's the fact that I wouldn't have um, dropped everything that was related to Alpha because the company was actually running really good um, and the people I, I was working with were very uh, were people I appreciate a lot. But
but for me back at the time the pressure of all those projects of all the things I, done, I had done simultaneously was just too much and um, yeah so maybe that's one thing that with the mindset I have today maybe I would have committed more to the Alpha project instead of uh, trying to launch something uh, yes I can uh, don't listen to your parents <laughs> because uh, they always want to uh, they are, they are always saying, take the safe way, go the safe way, go work for the state, go uh, uh, take the good paying job. Um, yeah, if you want to, to achieve something in life, you need to, to take a risk and to really uh, commit to your thing. Because mostly those stories you hear about uh, startups, it's always just the... Uh, uh, it's always just a happy talk, but nobody tells you how f***ing hard it is to really uh, work 13 hours a day, uh, work on weekends, be available all the time. Um, it's really hard and uh, it's, it can yeah, give you burnout, all those creepy things you, you always hear about on television or on social media. Um, so yeah, you need to, to have a strong mind and be able to like work, transform your life into your work. Maybe that's a bit too easy if I say that, but uh, technology. I believe that uh, technology is making our lives better, not worse. Um, I'm very passionate about social media. I think uh, social media is a, a great thing. And I, I love social media, um, even if I'm not that much of a, a blogger or poster or something like that, but I really love all the possibilities that the social media gives us to connect to people. Thank you very much for having me.